Don't even need that. Oh, don't have a second camera. <laughs> I just synchronized this camera to itself. <laughs> All right. Have you ever been on a beautiful motorcycle trip out exploring and camping in a gorgeous scenic location, loving life, everything's perfect, and you wake up at 2 a.m. with your tent leaking water? That was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. I've been using a cheap old uh, tent for about five or six years now and it's done okay for me but for many reasons i was like it's time to get rid of it it's leaking at the seams i'm done so i went on a big quest what is the best moto camping tent out there and that was my goal i had several criteria number one it had to be a two-man tent and the reason for that of course is because I sleep in one side and my gear can be in the other side. That way raccoons aren't running off with my boots, you see. <laughs> True story that happened to somebody else. Second, it had to have two vestibules. Now, you would think a two-person tent would have two vestibules, but my old cheap tent only had one entrance and one vestibule. Living in the south, it gets hot and muggy in the summertime, so... Two vestibules is fantastic because you can open both of them up and allow breeze to flow through your tent. It really helps with the uh, temperature management in hot, humid conditions like Charleston, South Carolina. And third, it had to fit in one of my panniers. Now there's a lot of other stuff, of course, that's gonna be involved, but those were the three top. I wanted it to pack inside one of my motorcycle panniers and my old tent was massive, was heavy, it did not fit in a pannier. So those were the three goals. I went on a heavy, heavy search and I narrowed out all the tents down to three favorites. And I'm gonna tell you about those three favorites. Now, if you have a fourth that I'm missing out on, leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to take a look at it. I'm still kind of in this research mindset, but I personally think that I can save you a ton of time if you are on the same quest that I am just go directly to these three. Any of these three I think would have worked for me, but there's a reason why one of them rose to the top and I'll tell you about that at the end. Now, number three on my list was the Nemo Dagger. Very cool tent, Nemo's a little bit newer to the market. Very, very nice tent. Again, would have done beautifully, but there were two concerns that I had. Number one, the ventilation is poor. There is no top vent. So being in the south, having that little flap at the top for ventilation is crucial for heat management, and it also helps with condensation. The other problem I had with the Nemo tent is that the rain fly doesn't go all the way to the ground. You know, I don't think it's a huge deal because the bathtub design it, uh, of the actual tent itself was probably protective enough but I did hear about some people who had some issues when the rain was driving sideways and the rain fly didn't go all the way to the ground, so a little bit of water came in that way. Two things that I just was not really comfortable with helped me eliminate that and leave it in third position. In second place, and this is possibly a lot of people's first place choice, is the MSR Hubba Hubba. I love the name. <laughs> I wanted to like this tent and I did. I really liked this tent. It's a great tent. It's a perfect all-arounder. Fits all of the other criteria in terms of packability, size, weight, durability, uh, three season use, etc. But there was one big drawback for me personally and that is that the ground cloth, what is that thing called? But there is one big downside for me personally, to the hubba hubba. And that is that the ground cloth does not extend out into the vestibule. It only covers the footprint of the tent itself. It's a big problem if you're camping in a dirty environment or it's wet, you know, or there's dew on the ground and you go to enter your tent 
and you're tracking stuff into your tent. Well, if you've, if you've got your ground uh, cloth uh, extended out into the vestibule, you have a place where you can get on and wipe off your feet before you actually get into your tent. The Hubba Hubba does not have that feature and that was a feature that my old cheap tent did not have and I knew that I did not like that. So that was a big downer for me. In addition to that, I've heard on the reviews and I read hundreds of reviews, but the zippers on the Hubba Hubba tent are very lightweight Obviously, these are all three ultralight tents, uh, bike packing tents, but uh, the zippers in particular on the Hubba Hubba, I've heard, uh, can snag really easily and, uh, you know, rip. So those are the reasons why the Nemo and the Hubba Hubba, the MSR, are in second and third place. Oh, wait. So here's what I ended up with. This is the old tent. I'm not gonna name any names. <laughs> but look at how big this thing is. And it's probably twice as heavy. All right. Check out the difference in size. Does not fit your panniers. This was my final choice of the ultimate bike packing motorcycle backpacking style tent. It's got a long name. Are you ready for this? This is the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV UL2 bike packing tent. Very important that you look for the one that says bike packing. But I absolutely fell in love with this tent. And there are many, many reasons, but A, it fit all of the criteria that I requested earlier. It's a three season tent. It's super small, super compact, super lightweight, very easy to set up. All the little clips and everything ha are color coded. So it's super easy to set up and it fits in my pannier and the ground cover extends out into the vestibule. The vestibules are huge as well. And this was a big, big factor for me. The vestibules can actually unzip and extend out into what I call porch mode. So you can tie down the vestibules fully raised up. I personally will be attaching them to like your motorcycle or something that's nearby. But that way you have a place where you can set your camp chair and just hang out with a little bit of a porch over you, uh, whether it's got a little bit of light rain or you're just hanging out and there's a lot of sun and you wanna get out of that. Uh, I think that little porch fe feature really put this tent over the edge. Now. I owe a huge thank you to Ben from Moto Camp Nerd. And if you guys aren't looking at Moto Camp Nerd for your shopping when it comes to bike packing, uh, backpacking, or moto camping, you're missing out. These guys are awesome. Ben and Mary are just a mom and pop shop that literally started because they needed solutions just like I did. They basically started from their garage and grew out into a beautiful store that caters 100% to our types of needs, motorcycle, bicycle, and backpacking travel. So the cool part is they're motorcyclists as well, and they take this stuff out and test it out. They literally have gone through what I did. They let me set this up and set up some of the other tents while I was there like so that I could lay in it and play with the buckles and play with the zippers. They were so cool. And the cool part again, they actually have camped in this specific tent as well as all the other tents. They literally take different tents out when they go home and sleep in them to try and you know experiment with them and see what they like and what they don't like so that when customers come in, they can help them out. So I highly recommend checking out Moto Camp Nerd. They have a big sale going on right now as well and take a look at the Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL2. I will be doing a complete review of this tent, setting it up, showing you all the features that I loved about it. But for now, I just wanted to let you know, I am so excited to finally have a brand new high quality tent that I can sleep in when we're on our next adventure. Now, if I have missed any other tents that I should have considered a little bit higher, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have this particular tent, I would love to hear your feedback as well. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe down below. It really, really helps 
small channels like us who are trying to bring you great content that will hopefully help you save time and money.